Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to showcase the Lootcraft mod, the Lootcraft core mod for 1.12. And it's, I don't know, it's like older versions too. You can get it for older versions, I'm pretty sure. Like all the way to 1.7.10, I'm pretty sure I'm showcasing the 1.12 version. So let's get into it. Yeah. So basically, these are all the ores you'll find. This is Uri ore, which I don't know where you find it. But you can find them in your world. Yeah, all these you find them in the overworld. And you can craft the Uri block like this, like normal. Like that. And that's Uri block. It's an Uri ore. You can, I'll show you how to get the ore. And this is copper ore, copper block. You craft it like that, the copper block, and you get the copper ore. Get 10 ore, 10 ore, 10 block, like that. Okay, 10 block, that's how you craft the 10 block. And then this is nickel, you get Nickel ore, craft nickel ore with nickel ingots. This is lead, lead ore, craft a lead block like that. And then this is silver ore, craft silver block like that with the perspective ingots. And then silver ore, that's how it looks like. Then we have palladium. Palladium is rare, it's it's like saying it's rarer than diamonds. So you basically get palladium ore. You can craft it like this with palladium ingots. Palladium ingot. That's palladium ore. And then this is titanium. Titanium ore. I don't know why titanium is black. You get titanium ingots. And then this is vibranium ore. I think you only find these in savannah biomes. I don't know. But you find this in your world. This is very rare vibranium. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's very rare vibranium. So you craft a vibranium block like that with vibranium ingots. Vibranium ore glows. I'm pretty sure like redstone. And this is osmium. You find this in your world. It's pretty, it's like in the same category you find it as gold and you find osmium ingots and then we have iridium iridium is very rare like it's much rarer than vibranium for sure it's much rarer than diamonds so you get iridium block it's iridium like that and then we have dwarf star alloy i don't know where you find dwarf star alloy so i'm gonna have to look that up Dwarf Star Alloy. Oh, you find this in the Meteor. Yeah, so basically this is a core mod for all the superhero mods of the Lootcraft core mod. So you find this in the Meteors. Dwarf Star Alloy. And then you get Dwarf Star Alloy Block. That's like crap. Dwarf Star Alloy block, and then this is uranium. Uranium ingots. You find uranium like that. This is uranium block. Yeah, uranium. Then here we have. We have bronze, gold, titanium alloy. Have this erythrum steel block, adamantium. These are crafted like this, the blocks. I'm going to show you where you can find these. These are, uh, you can't find them, you have to craft them because they're alloys. So basically this is the ores, the ingots. So you basically smelt. I have to, I'm going to get into this later in the mod showcase. Copper dust, but you've get copper ore and you smelt it like normal and then you just 10 ingots 
the same with copper or smelt it. And then there's nickel. The same. You smelt it. And here's lead. The same you smelt it like that. And a furnace. A normal furnace. And here's silver. You smelt it like that. Okay. And here's palladium. You smelt it like this. Palladium, and then here's, uh, yeah, and this is Erie. You smelt it like this, like normal. And here's titanium ore. You smelt it in the tight like that, like normal ores. Same with this. And here's osmium. You smelt it the same. Okay, and then there's steel. Wait, there's adamantium. Okay, so I'm gonna show you to craft adamantium. It's an alloy, so you can't find in the world. Same with steel. And here's iridium. You smelt it like this with iridium ore. And you smell dwarf star alloy of the dwarf star alloy, the dwarf star meteor, like that, like normal ore, uranium. You smell it like that with uranium ore. Okay, I'm gonna uh, get into this. So, oh yeah, I forgot vibranium and osmium. That's how you craft that. And to craft bronze. It's a little bit tricky, so you need bronze dust, which I, I can show you. Craft bronze, you're going to need copper dust and tin dust. Yeah. And you basically, I'm going to show you how to craft this in, later. You basically smelt it in a furnace and you get bronze dust, I mean bronze ingots. And here's gold titanium alloy. You need gold and titanium like this. Like that. I'm gonna show you how to you need the gold titanium dust like that. And the and then. Okay. So basically you get Titanium dust and gold dust. I'm gonna show you, and you can craft up a hammer too, like this with an ingot. That's bronze and gold titanium alloy. The gold titanium alloy is uh, to craft the Infinity Gauntlet in the future with the loot craft mods. And then here is this, which I don't know what it is. It's you craft it like this with iron dust and osmium dust. And then you need iridium. That's how you craft iridium. You smelt the dust in the furnace and it gets like that. And then I'm sure to make adamantium. To craft adamantium. You're going to need steel, steel, to craft adamantium, you're going to need steel dust and vibranium dust, and to craft steel, oh, I, I, let me show you how to craft steel, ingots first, you craft steel ingots, and you need steel dust, you need coal dust, and I'm going to show you in a bit how to make iron dust, and that's how you make iron dust. Just like that. And basically that's it. Then we add adamantium back. You need steel dust and vibranium dust. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to make the nuggets. Copper ink. 
Okay, so you need a copper ingot, a tin, you need a copper ingot that's in the middle. I know, why is it turn day so, why is it turn night so fast? Okay, so to craft a copper nugget, you need a, your perspective, you need a copper ingot in any location, it's a shapeless recipe. And you need a, the same with the tin ingot to craft tin nuggets and copper nuggets. You know what I'm talking about. Tin ingot in the middle. And nickel, the same. Lead, the same. Silver, the same. And palladium, the same. And uranium, the same. And dwarf star alloy ingot, the same. Iridium, the same. And steel nuggets, the, the steel the same with steel ingot. Adamant adamantium, the same with adamantium ingot. And uh, uri ore, the same. And then we have titanium, the same. Vibranium, the same. You get nine for all of them. You get nine nuggets like normal Minecraft. You get osmium, the same. Bronze the same with the perspective ingots. Got gold, titanium, alloy the same, and this the same. So basically, that's how you craft the, the basic stuff. The basic things. Yeah. That's what they have. And some of the blocks have animations like this. Do you see? It's a pretty cool animation. Now I'm going to show you how. So basically, to craft the dust stuff, everything in the dust, you're going to need a hammer. This is how you craft a hammer. This iron ingots, like this, has to be this. It's not, it has to be in this order. Sticks, like that, and you get a hammer. To get a wire cutter, you're going to need iron plate, stick, stick. And I'm going to show you how to make copper wiring. You need the wire cutter. And the copper plate, which I'm going to show you in a bit. And I'm going to show you how to make the copper plates. I mean, the plates for the, for the, for the metals. Copper plate, you need two copper ingots. It has to be two copper ingots and a hammer. Same way with silver and a hammer. Same way. Same way. The same way. Same way for all the ores. The Uri ore for all of these. Okay. And titanium, the same way with a hammer. And you only get one. For vibranium, the same way with a hammer. And osmium, the same way. Palladium, the same way. Iridium, the same way. Iridium is not ore, it's like a gem, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's not a ingot it's a gem but it works with the iridium the same in a hammer okay and then you have door star alloy the same with a door star alloy ingot the same and then it works with adamantium steel uranium blaze I mean not blaze bronze and gold titanium alloy ingot. The same. You can craft all the plates for every type of ore. Okay, guys. Then I'm going to show you. These are the dusts. So basically, to craft coal dust, you just put a hammer and a coal in the ingot. This one. Just like this, but with this one in the middle. Coal dust like that it has to be this like this in the craft recipe. Coal dust, charcoal dust, and that's you can get coal dust and charcoal dust. That's how I showed you how to craft some of these ores, like I showed you. You need coal dust for some of these recipes, and charcoal dust, I'm pretty sure it works the same. And, and there's also iron dust and iron plates too and gold plates 
and gold dust the same every type of ore works with this gold dust iron dust and that's a craft that okay guys and then there's copper dust the same with that copper dust a uh, nickel dust and basically whenever you smelt it I'm pretty sure it duplicates your ores when you craft it okay so it's copper dust like that silver dust like that tin dust like that nickel dust like that lead dust like that eerie dust like that with a hammer and then there's Titanium dust like that, vibranium dust like that, osmium dust like that, palladium dust, iridium dust, dwarf star alloy dust like that. There's adamantium dust, and then there's steel dust, which you can craft like this way by crushing steel ingots, or you can. This is like the main way to craft it. Like this is how you craft it. So, coal dust, like that coal dust, and iron dust. I'm pretty sure you can also use charcoal dust, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, you craft it like that, with iron dust and coal dust. You have uranium dust, bronze dust, which is the same way you can craft bronze dust with a bronze ingot. But this is how you craft bronze dust, and copper dust like that, and tin dust. I show you how to craft, and then you basically use this bronze dust to craft your alloys, like your bronze ingot. The same with the steel dust. You can make a steel ingot. Same with the vibranium. And then there's iridium, adamantium. Okay, to make ad adamantium, you're going to need steel dust and vibranium to make adamantium dust in the same way like this, with the hammer and the ingot. Coal dust, coal dust to make steel like I showed you. Okay, I should make that. Bronze dust is like that with copper dust and tin dust, like I showed you. So they craft everything. And then to make gold and titanium dust alloy, you need titanium dust and gold dust. Okay, guys. So now you have all your dusts and ores and gold plates and all, all of your plates, dusts, ore dusts, ore plates. And all your stuff. Now you're ready to, uh, basically, that's the basics for the mod. Once you have, like, most of these ores, you're ready to work with the loot craft mod. Get started with the loot craft mod. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, I forgot. To make this dust, you need iron dust and osmium dust. Okay, make copper wires. You need wire cutter and copper plate, like I showed you how to craft. Copper plates. It's, you should download it just in the finest modding and leave it down in the description of the video. Okay, so we have iron plates, gold plates, hammer. Craft the hammers like that. Okay, I showed you how to craft everything. Okay, now, so basically, these are the basic machineries. So, basically, these are the basic items you can craft. So, basically, this is an injection, which is the, once we, yeah, so this is just the main core mod for the superhero mods I'm going to show you. So, basically, you need to have this core, which adds all the recipes and ores. I'm showcasing the ores and stuff and how to craft them and machines. So, this is an injection. You need a silver nugget, a tin, 
t two tin plates and iron ingots like that to make and the silver nugget silver nugget tin plates iron ingots craft one injection so basically these injections have like the superpowers in them and you have to inject yourself to get the superpowers in the in in all of the superhero mods that you can get and then we have this which these are basically batteries I'm pretty sure you can craft this this is like this this is like the main battery the level one tier battery it's called the LV capacitor it's basically a battery and the iron ingots redstone lead ingot iron plates iron plates copper plate and lead ingot yeah you need lead ingot I'm not iron ingot I yeah I mean iron ingot two iron ingots redstone one redstone four iron plates one lead in, le, one lead ingot and one copper plate to craft one LV c capacitor so basically these are batteries they accept every single type of energy I think it works with other mods you can put like power in them like energy and you can power all your stuff and then this is the tier 2 basically it's a stronger battery this is the tier 1 battery this is a stronger battery you need a block of redstone you know how to craft a block of redstone like that and steel ingots in the lead block and I like you need two steel ingots one block of redstone one a uh, block of lead, four iron plates, and uh, a enritium plate. So I craft a ritium plate. Wait, which one? Not? Oh, I did the wrong one. So yeah. Okay, I showed you how to craft this one by accident. So this is you need the tier two. This is a tier two one, and you need two. Iron ingots, w one block of redstone, four iron plates, one lead ingot, and one osmium plate. Okay, guys, to get one battery, it holds holds like a little bit more of a little bit more power, a little bit more en energy. Then this is the most, the highest tier you can get in this mod, in the loot craft core mod, the core mod, and then this is a you need two steel ingots, one block of redstone, four iron plates, one lead block, and one iridium plate, like that. And you get that plate, which can hold four thousand energy units, and like Fe, which is forge energy. I'm pretty sure. And then this is a servo motor. I don't know what this is used for. I think it's just a item you can use in a recipe, which is an iron plate, two copper wiring. I actually need two iron plates, two copper wiring, one iron ingot. Yeah, two iron plates, two copper wiring, and one iron ingot. And you get this servo motor. And to get a basic circuit, you're going to need six. Yeah. Basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, six copper wiring. You need six copper wiring, two redstone, and one iron plate to craft one basic circuit. That's to craft a couple wiring, like that, with a wire cutter. And then to make an advanced circuit, you're going to need four copper wiring. One LV capacitor, which I already showed you I made. So you need four copper wiring, two LV capacitors, one basic circuit, and two redstone dust. Like I showed you how to make. And basically, yeah. So I'm going to show you this. This is like, you need to, these are like, blueprints you can find and they you can find them in every single structure in the game every single loot chest you find these uh you have a chance to find these blueprints and they basically have like i don't have the superhero mods installed but if you have them installed it will show you the recipes it will it basically these are re you need to have these to unlock recipes for the superhero stuff 
Uh -huh, and you'll find the blueprints all around the world. Okay, guys, you can't craft them. There's things you have to find in your world. And then this is basically reinforced. This basically is the fabric you need to use. Uh, this is white fabric, which is one iron plate, one bone meal, and one leather. You make orange reinforced plate. You need iron, one iron plate, and one leather, and one orange dye to make a magenta orange plate. I mean, orange. What am I talking about? Or fabric. You need iron plate, magenta dye, and leather. And lime reinforced fabric. You need iron, one iron plate, one leather, one lime dye, one lime dye. And you need one iron plate for the this one, the blue dye, the blue fabric. You need one iron plate, one leather, and one light blue dye. And this is the iron plate. You need one iron plate. Yeah, you need this is the yellow fabric. You need one iron plate, one leather, and one dandelion yellow. Okay, let's get into it. You need for the yellow fabric, you need one iron plate, one leather, and one dandelion yellow for the yellow fabric plate and the pink reinforced fabric it's just all of these are the same thing they're just in different colors iron plate you need one iron plate one leather and one pink dye and the gray one you need iron plate one iron plate one leather and one gray dye and the silver one you need iron you need uh, one iron plate, one leather, and one light gray dye. You need a sign one. You need iron, one iron plate, one leather, and one sign dye. And a purple one. You need one iron plate, one leather, and one purple dye. And for the blue one, this is the one that is this blue, not light blue. This is one iron plate, one leather, and one lapis lazuli. To make the brown one, you need one iron plate, one leather, and one cocoa beans. One cocoa bean. And the green one, you need one iron plate, one leather, and cactus green dye. One cactus green dye. And the one you need for black, the black one, you need one iron plate, one leather, and one ink sack for the black one. And for the red dye, I'm the red one. You need one iron plate, one leather, and one red rose dye. Okay, that's it, basically. Okay. So basically, that's all the stuff you need to do. So, I'm going to get one of these batteries. And I'm going to show you how to craft these uh, machines, so extractor, a boiler, and a furnace generator. So to craft this extractor, you're going to need four iron plates, four iron plates like this, two buckets, one in injection, and one basic circuit, and a LV capacitor. Like that. Okay, I should have to make them. Should extractor to make a boiler. Are these the same? No, they're not. You need four iron plates, one, uh, no, two buckets, one basic circuit, and the LV, LV capacitor, and the cauldron, two buckets, and you get the boiler. They're, yeah, they're different. And to make a furnace generator, you need two iron, I mean, two copper ingots, one block of redstone, four iron plates one two three four iron plates one LV capacitor and one furnace these are the tier ones of the batteries in the furnace yeah so basically these I'm gonna show you what the 
the furnace generator does. All you need is a fuel source, any type of fuel source, coal, wood, anything, anything that's a fuel for a furnace. You just put it in here, and you basically are generating power. Wait, are you generating power? Okay, you should be generating power. Okay, it is. So that will basically charge your LV capacitor, charge your batteries. It works with any one of these. Yeah, and once the green, once the black bar, the DC is charging up, do you see the uh, red bar? That means it's 1%. And then once it goes all the way through, when, once it completes charging, it'll do that. Oh, turn green the bar when it's done and then you can charge it's basically like a a generator early on generator if you see my other mod showcases you might know what these are it's basically charging you can charge any of these but each one of them what will hold more power more hold energy so that's what the furnace generator does okay yeah and also if you have them close together like this like this if you have them close together it will charge the it will basically power the one right next to it if it's connected like this so yeah it's pretty cool oh power the machine next to it and this is something I don't know what this does. I'm gonna have to look it up. So I'll be, uh, yeah. So I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back when I figure out what these do. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. So bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, yeah. So I heard that, uh, I only have the Loot Craft Core mod and so, not the Superhero mod and so. So basically, these are useless right now until you get the other mods. But yeah, so. I'm gonna show you uh, what does the furnace generator does. So you have a furnace generator right here. It basically powers the machines for you. Yeah, it powers any machine if you put it right next to it. Okay, guys. So, yeah, basically that's how you power your machines with the furnace generator. So, yeah. And I'm going to show you how to craft this, which is a suit stand, which allows you to put your suits in. It's basically like an armor stand, but a cooler arm stand. And I'm going to show you how to craft it. So you basically need one iron ingot, one armor stand, and three iron plates like this. That's the correct iron plates, and I'm gonna show you what it does. So I'm gonna grab some armor, I'm gonna get some diamond armor. Why does it keep raining? Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna go into survival mode. I'm gonna show you what the armor stand does. So basically, you can right click the armor stand to put some inside, just put some stuff inside it. You can right click and it's basically, it brings this GUI up in. And you basically can put your armor stands and it has stuff for like, uh, stuff. I'm gonna show you what these are in a second. But I don't have the mods installed to show you what these do. But basically, yeah. That's the armor stand. Basically, it's the armor stand. A cooler armor stand. And you can shift right click. You can shift right click to put it on quickly. Or you can just drag it. And you have armor stand there. So basically, guys. 
whenever you uh basically when you're in survival mode you have two tabs one your abilities or uh, i mean this is like achievements i'm pretty sure okay basically keeps track of your monster kills good player kills bad player kills good knockouts tamed entities it basically keep, keeps track of the stuff and then this is this it's a, like a extra armor gy so basically this is for like necklaces basically this is basically a like a bauble it's basically for baubles so this is like for necklaces and stuff and then here is for capes which yeah in some of the superhero mods that goes with this has like capes like if you want to get like superman you have to wear a superman cape and this is for like i know that this is for the web shooters for spider-man and then this is offhand you know what the offhand does yeah so necklace super capes and then this is for web shooters and stuff you can have basically it's like a bobble for your hand and then these are like swords i'm gonna get a sword you can put like swords in your hands i'm pretty sure okay wait how do you well, why I don't know what this is for. Why would you want to put swords in your hands? In these hands. I don't know what I don't really know what these are for, but it's pretty cool. You can easily go to if you're in crave mode, you can just press this plus icon and it brings you to this page. Okay. Okay guys, so basically that's the armor stand. That's arm stand. And uh, so this is the suit crafting table. This is the construction table. This allows you to craft every single suit in the, in the like every single superhero suit in the loot craft mods, the loot craft core mods. So I'm gonna show you how to craft this. And this is what the, this, uh, these in the, the construction table, the blueprints, uh, you need the blueprints are basically th this is basically allows you to unlock the recipes for the superhero suits with the blueprints okay i'm going to show you right now but i'm going to show you how to craft it first you need the saw so basically a construction table you craft it like this with three iron plates one crafting table four iron ingots uh you need no actually you need Four iron plates, you see four iron plates, four iron ingots, and one crafting table. Iron plates like this, iron ingots like that, and the crafting table. And that's how you craft a construction table. Okay, guys. And this is how it looks. It looks pretty cool. The same with this, it looks pretty cool. And then, this is a construction table. So, basically, you have to put your blueprints in here. Your blueprints, and basically, it, it basically shows up the recipes. Like, the items you need to craft the suit. Okay? And once you have the items in your inventory, you can basically craft the armor. Basically, when you have the items in your inventory, it shows up the armor you want to craft, or thing you want to craft, and it basically pops up here, and you can take it out, and you have the armor. The superhero armor. Okay, guys. And there's a structure, too. So, yeah, the blueprints. There's a structure that's in the village. It's a cool structure. It's like a laboratory of, in the village. I'm going to show you right now. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll show you right now. Okay, guys, so this is one of the structures, guys. So, yeah. That's one of the structures. And this is where you're going to find, it's basically an asteroid. And this is where you're going to find Dwarf Star Alloy. The meteor, the Dwarf Star Alloy. That's where you're going to find Dwarf Star Alloy. Okay.
Okay, guys. And I'm, yeah. That's where you can find Dwarf Star Alloy. And let's just find a village. Well, yeah, I'll be right back when I find a village, guys. So that's the meteor, and I'll be right back when I find it. A uh, village okay guys so bye okay guys I'm back so turns out that the uh, structure in the village I'm talking about the lavatory is not in this mod it's in the superheroes expansion add-on or mod for the superhero uh, for the loot craft core mod which I have installed so we're gonna have to showcase that in another video Okay, so yeah. I got this infinity generator, which is in this tab. Yeah, it's in this tab, guys. So basically, I'm going to show you how to craft this infinity generator. Okay, so basically, guys, you need dwarf star alloy, like I showed you in that structure. I showed you in uh, that meteor structure the dwarf star alloy plates and advanced circuit like I showed you how to craft a nether star steel blocks and a HV capacitor like I showed you how to craft dwarf star four dwarf star alloy one advanced circuit two steel blocks one nether star and one HV capacitor and that's how you get the infinity generator well, I don't know what this does actually but let's see what it does guys okay so I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a, a generator Come on, this work. Why is it not doing anything? generator oh I get it it's wood Doesn't need something. Doesn't need some type of material. Maybe 
Maybe he needs an infinity stone. Well, I got the infinity gauntlet here, guys. So basically, I'm gonna show you how to craft the infinity gauntlet. I don't know how to work this. I already showed you how to craft the infinity generator. I don't know how to work it. But to craft the infinity gauntlet, you're gonna need gold, six gold titanium in the anvil and one infinity gauntlet cast. You can find this in blacksmith chests. You see in the village right here it says in you need six gold six gold titanium alloy plates. I'm gonna show you how to make. Did I show you how to make this? Yeah I did. And yeah, basically this is you basically right click and you put all the infinity stones, which in this if I only have the loot craft mod installed, it doesn't add all of the infinity stones that you have to download the superhero mods. The add-ons for the loot craft is just a core mod. I'm showcasing, but we're going to showcase that in the next video. So I hope you like the video, guys. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna, let me see if there's any else things. Any else. Showcase. Yeah, basically that's it for to the mod. Hey yeah, guys, so... That's gonna be it for the mod. Yeah, so guys, I hope you liked the video, guys. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Yeah, this is gonna be it for today's video. So I hope you liked the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit smash the like button. Smash the subscribe. Smash and subscribe. And I hope you liked the video, guys. Like and subscribe, and let's see if this video gets to a thousand views i want a thousand views guys so make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys bye guys bye 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 guys bye bye